They call it the HP ZBook Firefly G8. This is a remake of the G7, slightly better components in this model this year. We have the upgraded i7 1185G7. We have the NVIDIA Quadro T500 with four gigs of VRAM. So this is definitely a step up from last year's model. Now, some things that I love about this laptop are the soft touch keyboard that's very quiet the trackpad, which is responsive and quiet as well, as well as these two click buttons, which makes it really nice to really nail your left and right click without any issues. And then the upward facing speakers create an immersive audio experience. Pair that with a color accurate display, a webcam that has a manual shut off switch, and you've got a solid laptop as an architecture or 3D modeling student. Now, let's get into some real talk in just a moment, but first let's do some classic tests. We're gonna check out the screen flex real quick. Looks good there, a solid screen. Press here on the top of the keyboard deck. Everything looks good there as well. And we're gonna open and close the lid with one hand that works solid as well. So as far as the build quality is concerned, this thing has what it takes. Let's go ahead and check out the edges around the sides. We have a more aggressive edge up here along the top cover and uh, still an aggressive edge, but a slightly smoother transition along the bottom cover. And as you can see, there's a nice large vent on the bottom cover along the back panel of the chassis and no vents along the side panels. Now, I love the ease of removal of the bottom cover. Simply pull out these screws and it pulls right off and you're good to go. I'll include a full breakdown of how to tear down this laptop from HP, but I'll include that. So if you wanna upgrade the RAM or SSD, you'll know how to do that. Okay, let's do a little bit of real talk now when it comes to these ZBook lineups. Now, I will bring the benchmarks up on the screen and what you're going to see is a laptop slightly underperforming in the first three benchmarks. Now this laptop is priced around $2,000 to $2,300 depending on the configuration. Now don't nail me to the wall on the price. I'm gonna include a link in the description below. You can click through that link, check the live pricing and availability of this laptop. Now if you do make a purchase, I will get a small commission, but at no extra cost to you and that's what keeps this channel alive and the helpful content coming your way. Now. At that price point, you would expect it to perform very highly on say 3DS Max, Autodesk Maya, and PTC Creo. However, we're seeing um, laptops with non-Quadro GPUs really slaying this laptop. And let's talk about why that's happening. Okay, these are Quadro GPUs in the ZBook lineup. And HP has done that for a very specific reason. There are certain applications inside of the 3D modeling suites that exist in architecture suites that require a certified Quadro GPU, a workstation GPU, to run the program efficiently and to have customer support within that product, okay? I think it's extremely weird, but that's how the products, um, the programs like Revit and SolidWorks function. Now, if there's any other changes that have been made recently and you're like a SolidWorks or Revit wizard, please comment below and give us some updated data. But since researching in the past two months, that has been the big reason of including these Quadro GPUs, okay? I know I'm kind of going on, but this is very important because when I first received these laptops, I thought, great, aluminum, color accurate, but slightly expensive and not as powerful as some of the other counterparts. What gives? And that's when I started doing some research. Okay, so this laptop comes with the NVIDIA Quadro T500 GPU. It has four gigs of VRAM. Now, compared to something like the latest RTX 3060 or 3070, which has six or eight gigs of VRAM, you kind of think, okay, what gives? Why not put that GPU in this laptop? Well, as I explained, they need to be quad Quadro Workstation certified GPUs to get the support you need if you run into issues from the program you are using. 
be it architecture or 3D modeling. So these are fantastic laptops for architecture students or 3D modeling students getting into school. Now, let's say you're already a professional in the industry and you need a bit more power and juice. That's where you're gonna look at the power or the create or the fury. These are different ZBook laptops that you can get your hands on to get more power. This is a fantastic laptop to get you started as a student because it is a certified laptop, which is very important for getting the support you need in the apps. And it also has a fantastic build quality, color accuracy, and immersive audio experience while having great quality in the keyboard, trackpad, and peripherals. Links in the description below if you're ready to make a purchase, likes if this video has brought you some value, and subs if you don't wanna miss out on the future uploads. I'll see you here in the next video.